So a good road this morning, guys. One thing I noticed is we have a lot of uh, different recovery sequence, catch sequence, squaring sequence. They're subtle, so let's take a look. Uh, right here at the front end, you see starboard side, little different blade angles and a different power application right at the catch. We're not quite hitting the water at the same time. And here we can see where about your blade is a little close to water at the finish. Henry, your blade's too far off the water at the finish. It got better when you adjusted your height. And also four different square up times. Way to go. <laughs> Again, the square up timing and the blade height, starboard side. Right here, all of you tend to now set your blade at the right height. You'll tend to sky a little bit as you square your blade, but you put it right down in the water at the catch. You have a good catch, but you sky right before. It's like a sequence that you do when we have to break you of the habit. Blade off a bit more to finish and travel level on the recovery. Port side, a little different on a square up, so you can see you're a little late bound. Now, I thought this was an interesting observation here. Um, bow, really good push of the legs at the front end. But you notice coming into the catch stern pair, you're a little off on how you move and drive together. See how Henry, your legs are a little late or maybe our stroke, your legs are a little quick. I don't know yet, I have to watch more. But you see how it's off? You see the break in the drive there? I thought that was fascinating. And uh, you might not even feel that, but it's just enough. See how stroke you keep moving, Henry, you're driving. You might be rowing the blade in, Henry. Stroke, you might be over compressing. We'll have to work on it. But see how it's wonky going in right there and coming out on the drive. That was a good stroke, Henry, by the way. Stop scratching your ass. A little late on the square up too. Right here, the leg drive is off. See that bow pair? The leg drive was off. Who's right, who's wrong, it doesn't matter. We have to get our leg drives together. You can see where Bow, you're having a hard time hitting the water at the finish because you're pulling too high and too little close to the water. Bow, but now you adjusted catch. your handle heights Over, and now it's fine. As you approach, right there, that's better. But the blade angles on starboard side up a little bit. are wonky going into the front end. A little more compression three than Bow. So I have to adjust some rigging. But right here, see that? That's what I see when you guys are rowing, and it irks the shit out of me. Good catch, though, Henry. See, blade angles are better when you have proper handle heights. Too close to the water bow. See that right there? Boom. Now, if you notice on that start stroke, you're over compressed. Your angle is greater than two, and you're probably gonna come out late. See that, you came out late, you rat bastard. Now on this start right here, guys, I would like to see a lot more power, a lower stroke rating, because you're gonna have more power, and then as you lengthen out the full slide to an 18, the power comes off. We're gonna work on that. This was, watch how the sun gets bright as you guys roll around the turn, it's spectacular. See how it starts to glow right there? That was so cool. But in general, guys, a lot to do, and most of it is working on just power applications and how we swing together. But I thought things were, were getting better today.